What if you could transform customer challenges into breakthrough innovations, not by chance, but through a systematic, repeatable process? Today, I'll share Amazon's proven approach to innovation that has guided us for over two decades. We'll explore how this method recently led to the development of an AI-powered platform that's enhancing cycling broadcasting, enabling commentators to deliver deeper insights and richer storytelling to fans worldwide. My name is Ame Lala, and I'm a principal in the digital innovation and prototyping team at AWS. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how we approach innovation at Amazon, how we're adapting these proven methods for the AI era, and most importantly, how you can apply these principles to drive innovation at scale in your own organization. You'll learn our systematic approach through a real-world example of how one media giant is transforming their customer experience using Gen AI. Our ability to innovate at scale stems from a fundamental principle, understanding where true innovation begins. When building a business, multiple strategic anchors exist. You could orient around competitive analysis, push technological boundaries, reimagine business models, or pursue various other paths to growth. At Amazon, we've deliberately chosen a different North Star, an unwavering obsession with the customer. This customer-centric approach follows three critical steps. Number one, precisely identifying our target customers. Number two, directly engaging with them to understand their stated needs. And number three, taking the crucial leap beyond, using deep customer empathy to anticipate and invent solutions that surpass their expectations, delivering delights in ways they hadn't imagined. A quick note here, this customer-first mindset is Amazon's way. It's worked remarkably well for us, but we stay humble about it. We're constantly learning and adapting our approach based on what our customers tell us works and what doesn't. Their feedback shapes how we evolve these mechanisms. When practicing customer-focused innovation, you'll naturally encounter numerous opportunities and ideas to explore. The challenge then becomes, how do you decide which investments are worth pursuing? At Amazon, we solve this through our focus on durable customer needs, fundamental customer desires and pain points that will remain stable over time. Our evaluation process centers on long-term customer value. We ask not just, can we meet this customer need today, but more importantly, will this need persist and remain relevant in the future? Let me illustrate this through our flywheel. It begins with our relentless focus on customer experience, which drives increased customer traffic. This higher traffic naturally attracts more sellers and products to our marketplace. The greater scale then enables lower operational costs, allowing us to reduce prices, which in turn enhances the customer experience creating a powerful self-reinforcing of growth and customer value. The beauty of focusing on durable needs like lower prices, broader selection, and greater convenience is their permanence. No customer will ever say, please make things more expensive, or I'd prefer fewer choices and more hassle. By anchoring our innovation in these enduring customer needs, we create sustainable business mechanisms that continue to deliver value over time. This focus on durable customer needs shapes not just what we build, but how we organize ourselves to innovate effectively. To consistently deliver customer-focused innovation, we've developed a framework built on four essential pillars. First is culture. We foster a customer-obsessed environment where we hire builders and empower them to innovate. Second is architecture. We create technical structures and tools that support rapid experimentation and scale. And third is mechanisms. We develop encoded behaviors that make innovation repeatable and systematic. And fourth is organization. We operate in small empowered teams that own what they create. These pillars work together to create an environment where innovation isn't just possible, it's inevitable. Today, I'll focus particularly on our mechanisms because they provide a repeatable framework that you can adapt for your own organization. Let me introduce you to our most powerful innovation mechanism, working backwards. Here's what makes it unique. Instead of starting with a solution or technology, we begin by writing a press release announcing the finished product. Yes, you heard that right. We write the press release first. This isn't just any press release. It's written from the future perspective, 
focusing on the customer benefit and working backwards from there. We pair this with FAQs that answer detailed questions about the customer experience, technical implementation, and business model. We also create visuals that bring the concept to life. Why do we do this? Because it forces us to begin with the end in mind, the actual customer value. It's surprisingly difficult to write a compelling press release for a product that doesn't solve a real customer problem. This process helps us identify gaps in our thinking early, before we've invested significant resources in development. To make working backwards even more concrete, we focus on five essential customer questions. First, who is the customer and what insights do we have about them? This forces us to be specific about our target audience and their needs. Second, what is the prevailing problem or opportunity? This ensures we're solving real issues, not imagined ones. Third, what is the solution and the most important customer benefit? Notice how we tie the solution directly to customer value. Fourth, how do we describe that solution and experience to customers? This tests whether we can articulate the value proposition clearly. Finally, how do we test the solution with customers and measure success? These metrics keep us honest about whether we're actually delivering value. These questions might seem simple, but answering them thoroughly often reveals critical gaps in our understanding. Let me break down the three components of a press release, what we refer to as a PRFAQ. First is the press release, a one-page narrative that forces us to clearly articulate the customer benefit. We write it as if we're launching the product today, including a fictional customer quote. This helps us think from the customer's perspective before writing any quote. Second is the FAQs, both customer and internal. Customer FAQs address questions like how much does it cost or how does it work with other services. Internal FAQs tackle business outcomes, security, and differentiation. Finally, we have visuals, which evolve with the idea's maturity. They might start as simple whiteboard sketches and progress to detailed wireframes or architecture diagrams. Together, these three elements create a compelling vision of the customer experience and business value before investing in development. Remember, if you can't write a compelling press release, you probably haven't found the right solution yet. Let me show you how all this comes together in practice with Warner Brothers Discovery Sports for its Mountain Biking League. Using Working Backwards, we identified a clear challenge Cycling commentators struggled to provide comprehensive coverage because they couldn't access detailed information about riders during live broadcasts. Through our working backwards process, we envisioned an AI-powered platform that could generate real-time insights about any rider in the race. We wrote a press release describing how this platform would revolutionize the viewer experience, included FAQs addressing both viewer concerns and internal operational questions. We then created mockups of the commentator interface. The result is Cycling Central Intelligence, acronym CCI, launched in April 2025. We're aiming to dramatically increase rider coverage during broadcasts, provide commentators with real-time access to comprehensive statistics and race data, and streamline their pre-race preparation. Most importantly, we expect this to significantly enhance fan engagement by delivering a more immersive, informative experience that brings viewers closer to the action than ever before. This project demonstrates how combining a systematic innovation approach with Gen AI capabilities can solve real customer problems and create lasting value for both broadcasters and viewers. The journey to create CCI was a true collaborative effort, bringing together diverse perspectives from across AWS and Warner Brothers Discovery Sports. Our AWS account team worked closely with AWS Digital Innovation Team, who ran the working backwards process. The AWS Gen AI Innovation Center handled prototyping, while our ProServe team supported the launch. We started by applying Amazon's distinctive working backwards innovation mechanism. This process sparked crucial discussions among key Warner Brothers Discovery Sports stakeholders, ultimately leading to the decision to invest in a prototype and a minimal lovable product. With the green light, we move forward to test and launch an AI-powered commentator platform that leverages Amazon Bedrock and Claude. This system consolidates multiple data sources into a unified knowledge base. 
By processing and analyzing documents about writers and events, the system enables natural language queries that help reduce research time and support a more engaging data-driven storytelling experience. Throughout this process, we remained focused on the needs of the broadcasting teams working backwards from their requirements to envision, develop, and build a solution. And that's all we have time for today. Thank you for watching.